people say, tell me from the Quran where it talks about girlfriends and boyfriends. Give me the exact words. And I always say this about other things as well. People come up to me and say, tell me in the Quran where it says crack, cocaine, hashish, marijuana is forbidden. Wallahi ya Sheikh, you give me the exact word and I'll give it up in my life. I'll give it up. But the Quran doesn't address your terminologies, words of the street today. It doesn't talk about skunk and weed in the Quran. It talks about a word which entails everything that will come in time. It talks about khamar. Khamar isn't alcohol. Khamar is ma'ghab al-aqal. Whatever takes your mind away. So anything that takes your mind away, it becomes khamar, becomes haram. But for those people who want exactly girlfriend, boyfriend relationship, I'll tell you where it is in the Quran today. The Quran says, وَلَا مُتَّخِذِي أَخْدَان Surah Al-Ma'idah, the fifth chapter, verse number five. Go and research it for yourself. Women who don't take boyfriends. That's the loose translation. So there it is from the Quran given to you now. That the Quran is saying likewise the opposite is mentioned as well. Men who don't take women as their girlfriends has been mentioned inside the Quran as well. When this is a common trend in this society because they make us feel abnormal. They make us think that if you don't have a relationship, you're abnormal. That's a natural deen. That's a natural way for man. Manhood isn't to fornicate and commit adultery. Manhood is to restrain yourself and control yourself. That's real manhood in the Sharia. So these people are trying to promote in our society and Muslims as well. There must be harad, there's no harm. There's love before marriage. The Sharia talks about love after marriage. When things break down, things get difficult. Children come in the family. Hardship of work, losing one's job. Fitting that you find surrounded by, that's real love. It's shallow understanding of love. My man buys me a rose, rides me in his BM convertible, takes me here, takes me there. Where's your integrity? When real man, real man, you find that the Quran preaches about that. Men are more dominant upon women because the word qawama means to take care of the house. My man can't even wake up in the morning, you think he's a man. My man can't even work for a day's living. Lives off the dole, lives off the government. Robs people, is a crook. And then you think that he's a man? Real man is the one who takes care of his affairs, takes care of his house, takes care of his family. Fends for them and looks after them.